Outer space is home to some of science's most perplexing unsolved mysteries. At this point, we know more about the universe than we ever have before, due to significant scientific discoveries made by NASA. These revelations are possible because of how far technology has come, in terms of both capturing and identifying mysterious objects very far away. And yet, while we know more than ever, there are also more weird science mysteries than ever out there, waiting to be solved. Number 5. Over the course of the history of space exploration, there have been certain unnerving and yet wondrous photos taken from space that show our own planet in the distance. The first photo of Earth from space was taken in 1946, but one particularly significant moment happened in 1968. The crew of Apollo 8 took the famous photo of Earthrise, showing the moon in the foreground and the Earth in the background. An even more famous photo is 1990's The Pale Blue Dot, taken by NASA's Voyager 1, 3.7 million miles from the Sun. That iconic image of the Earth as a tiny speck in the enormous black vacuum of space even inspired the title of a book by Carl Sagan. However, perhaps more unnerving than either of these is the wide-angle photo taken on July 19, 2013 by NASA's Cassini spacecraft. It was one of the 323 images taken with different spectral filters to capture Saturn and its ring system. In the foreground, you can see the dark side of Saturn, along with many of its rings. But this is the only photo from over 300 that also features planet Earth and the Moon. You can see Earth as a little blue dot far in the distance, 898 million miles away, while Saturn is only 753,000 miles away. These images would be processed as a composite photograph entitled The Day the Earth Smiled. According to Carolyn Porco, the planetary scientist who led the imaging science team on the Cassini mission, the portrait was intended partially as a global celebration. At the time, she even publicly asked everyone to wave for the photograph being taken. After all, this was only the third time the Earth had been photographed from the outer solar system. It was also a major accomplishment for NASA to be able to remotely control Cassini from Earth. Porco presented the mosaic at a ceremony at the Library of Congress in November of that year, dedicating it to Carl Sagan the legendary astronomer who researched extraterrestrial life. But while this stunning photograph is helpful for uncovering new information about Saturn and its rings, it's also an unnerving image. By design, the photo emphasizes the relative tininess of life on Earth compared to the vast cosmos. That's the case in the solar system, but it's even more overwhelming to consider Earth's size in relation to other galaxies. Yet, while the distance from the Earth is smaller than other photos, including the pale blue dot, the crispness and quality of this photo makes it particularly amazing and unsettling. As beautiful and informative as any new photographs of Earth from a great distance are, it can be difficult to really take it all in without feeling insignificant and without considering the larger mysteries of the vast universe. Number 4 in 2016, a YouTube user named UFO Hunter shared this photo, which was captured on Mars by NASA's Curiosity rover earlier that year. The photo, which raises a creepy science mystery, appears to feature a spoon somewhat buried in the dust on the surface of Mars. UFO Hunter suggested that the spoon may be left from a lost civilization. Now, that idea may seem far-fetched, Others have pointed out that the spoon is most likely a natural occurrence, and its shape is likely a coincidence. Researchers refer to this common propensity as pareidolia, the tendency of people to see familiar characteristics in random objects. In addition, on a scientific level, research shows that Earth has 2.66 times Mars's gravity, and it may be easier to retain fragile shapes like a spoon on a planet with less gravity than Earth. On Earth, erosion occasionally leaves behind geologic shapes that also appear like objects, but it may happen less frequently because of the strong gravity. 
Still, the creepiest part of this unnerving story is that it isn't the first time something spoon-shaped was discovered on Mars. In late 2015, a previous spoon-shaped formation had been spotted, supposedly defying gravity. Perhaps these recognizable shapes are coincidences, and it's true that these formations are very small. But it's impossible not to wonder about the possibility that NASA could have been receiving signs from some entity on Mars. The question of whether life existed on the Red Planet remains one of our biggest, most pressing astronomical mysteries, and the answer may determine whether humans will be able to one day set foot on Mars and survive themselves. Number 3 On May 7th of this year, NASA's Curiosity rover captured a series of raw images on the Mars landscape, including a geological feature called the Green Hue Pediment. The pediment is a rough, jagged slope with a sandstone cap that overhangs other parts. But one image in particular, no matter the explanation, is especially chilly. The image shows a rock face with a doorway to an underground tunnel seemingly cut into it. UFO conspiracists seized onto the idea that this was a real doorway, evidence of an alien civilization on Mars or even some sort of portal to another dimension. The truth is, this image is likely misleading. It seems to show a large door-sized crevice, but the Jet Propulsion Laboratory clarified that the shot was, in reality, extremely zoomed in and showed a smaller crevice. The actual hole only measured 11 by 17 inches and it was likely caused by some kind of naturally occurring fissure, which is a common geological feature on both Mars and our own planet. UFO of Interest, a UFO debunker, explained this when he tweeted, saying, quote, Watching it in context as part of a whole mosaic, we can see that little niche in a rock with other blocks, fractures, shapes, and other erosive features all over the rock face. Regardless of the real origin of this doorway-esque hole in the Martian rock, the image is still creepy and mysterious, like an image from a disturbing science fiction movie. It raises the question of whether real alien civilizations could exist right under our noses. One of the scariest parts about the weird science of space exploration is how difficult it is to identify what may be a natural occurrence and what may be something more serious and significant. How many unexplainable coincidences can pile up before it becomes impossible to deny the existence of something truly alien? Number 2 Many of the most beautiful images of outer space come from nebulae, a word that refers to clouds of interstellar dust and gas that are often rich in color and beauty. These clouds tend to be gigantic, with some reaching hundreds of light years in diameter. That means it would take hundreds of years of traveling at the speed of light to cross them. This image was taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2018, showing a little-known nebula known as IRAS 05437 plus 2502, located near the central plane of the Milky Way in the constellation Taurus. These images were recorded as part of a snapshot survey outside of Hubble's normal scheduled research so NASA was lucky to stumble across this unique occurrence. When Hubble images have been used to thoroughly study and observe a wide range of places and phenomenon in the universe, this nebula remains an intriguing science mystery with its true origins unclear. The image is a reflection nebula which reflects light from other nearby stars. Another example of these is the Witch Head Nebula, a famous nebula whose glow comes from light reflected by the bright star Rigel in the constellation Orion. While many nebulae form from gas and dust expelled during a supernova, or the explosion of a star at the end of its life cycle, reflect nebulae use the gas that's already in close proximity. However, what sets this nebula apart is its unusual shapes and features, including the mysterious boomerang-esque quality in the bottom left section of the photo. Scientists suspect a young, high-velocity star may have contributed to the bright and strangely sharp-edged contours of the nebula. That star would have to be traveling over 120,000 miles per hour after being ejected from a far-off cluster of young stars. 
Due to the unusual nature of the discovery of this nebula though, there remain no clear answers about the formation of IRAS 05437 plus 2502, only theories. Number 1. Perhaps some of the greatest mysteries of the universe relate to the distant past and the study of cosmic microwave background, or CMB. CMB, which was first observed during the 1960s, is subtle electromagnetic radiation that fills the entirety of the space in our solar system. Its origins date back to the very beginning of the known universe, with the Big Bang making it the oldest electromagnetic radiation in existence. Using a sensitive radio telescope, a faint background glow is visible in all the spaces between stars and between galaxies. This huge scientific discovery provided significant evidence of the Big Bang Theory. As a result of this amazing revelation, the radio astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson earned the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physics. One of the biggest continuing mysteries of the CMB, however, is a phenomenon known as a CMB cold spot. While the universe itself widely varies from place to place, with some regions packed with galaxies and others completely devoid of them, the CMB itself is broadly homogeneous dating back to the early Big Bang. This means that CMB should have somewhat evenly dispersed cold and hot spots. However, scientists found that one unusually large region is cold, especially compared to the hot ring around it. This degree of temperature fluctuation doesn't seem to match the accepted models of CMB, making this a fascinating scientific anomaly. There have been many theories about the cold spot. The cosmologist Laura Mersini Hofton, a strong proponent of the multiverse hypothesis that our universe is one of many, controversially suggested the cold spot could be caused by quantum entanglement between parallel universes. However, the most popular theory is that of a massive void between us and the CMB, a supervoid. One 2015 study indicated a supervoid with a radius of 1.8 billion light years centered in the direction of the cold spot that makes it the largest void ever detected and even one of the largest structures in the universe. However, despite the increase in evidence, the theory remains unconfirmed. One 2017 study suggested any nearby voids would not have been able to create the cold spot, although a study just last year by the Dark Energy Survey suggested that there is a direct relationship between the cold spot and the supervoid. The cold spot is also part of what some call an axis of evil, a pattern of correlation between the solar system and the CMB. This relationship would make the Earth and our solar system astronomically significant, and there is some evidence for it with anomalies in radiation corresponding to anomalies in the solar system. But there's no consensus on the nature of the axis of evil, and it's possible the anomalies aren't truly statistically unusual at all. Similarly, there remains no explanation for the cold spot that's been 100% confirmed, and astrophysicists continue to puzzle over this unnerving mystery. Like the concept of dark energy itself, the discrepancy of uneven temperatures in an otherwise consistent radiation source is a puzzling conundrum that's at odds with what scientists understand of the early history of the universe. With every leap forward in scientific understanding, comes countless other intriguing and often unsettling mysteries. There's so much we don't know, and perhaps there always will be. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But my name is Ty Knotts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.